audience insights reveals previously hidden or unacknowledged details about the people in any audience. To explain audience insights, we're going to examine the substantial audience of Channel 4, the UK TV channel. And here's the insights summary page for that very audience. The first thing we see are the segments that make up Channel 4's audience. These segments are determined either by interests expressed explicitly by the users, or that we've been able to infer from conversations, relationships and engagements. On the right over here, we see the affinities of the full audience, as well as some key characteristics of that audience just below it. Scrolling down, we begin to see more detail about each segment. Here we see the affinities and interests that form the characteristic of each of the segments identified above. And as we look at them, we can identify clear differences between each of these individual segments. And if we look up here, it's clearly different from those of the overall audience, helping us to define individual segments within the wider audience. To dive deeper, we have two choices now. We can either look at more information about the overall audience by going up here and clicking up on the right to see more information about the whole audience. But for the purposes of this introduction, we're going to look at this film buffs segment here, seeing as it ties in quite well with Channel 4's audience. Each segment can be explored in five different dimensions. We can look at who are they, how they engage with the world, what are their online habits, what interests them, and what drives them. Already you can see how this new level of detail could help to guide, for example, a media strategy or to prove value for a potential sponsor. Over here we can also compare the audience to of film buffs to any of the other segments or to any other country audience. So we're going to look through the Who Are They panel now. This dimension reveals demographic details of a significant segment. It shows a comparison with the overall Channel 4 audience, uh, that's the one below, as well as with the film buffs, which is the darker one above. So, for example, we can see that it's mostly in London, this audience, and um, you can see that Emma and Paul appear to be the more popular names. Information includes how they describe themselves um, as well, and their gender, what language they used, and this kind of information can be used for advertising campaigns for a new show, either for creative inspiration or for targeting new people who describe themselves similarly. Now we move on to how they engage with the world. What we see here are the personality traits of the audience segments in terms of the big five personality dimensions. The unique ability of audience to determine these is one of our, the outcomes of our long-standing relationship with Watson, IBM's cognitive computing or AI program. If you want more information on the Big Five personal model, there's a link that we put there to help you get up to speed with it. In this example, notice how the segment Film Buffs is dramatically different from uh, the Channel 4 followers as an overall population. Here's the Film Buffs, and uh, the light one below it is the Channel 4's one. So I want to draw your attention to neuroticism to show one of the differences. Each of these five dimensions, by the way, has a number of specific facets and uh, we can see how they compare with the chosen baseline. So the film buffs here, they seem to be a much more calm, much more socially conservative audience than the main Channel 4 audience. And if you're looking at a creative team, you might want to start designing campaigns with these sort of things in mind if you want to reach that specific film buff audience compared to the main one. Now we look at their online habits. This dimension shows the device types used by the segments the contents that they engage with, and how their followers react to the contents they share. And also you can see it down below when they're likely to be online. Scrolling down, we can see that the film buff audience is a lot less likely than the Channel 4 audience to be online at weekends, but a little more likely to be online during weekdays. And if we go up, we can also see that they're more likely to be on Twitter or perhaps uh, reading blogs on Medium than the general Channel 4 audiences on Facebook or YouTube. This information can tell you where you want to be doing your advertising and can also teach you how to tailor your information on those particular platforms. Now we're going to what interests them. So here we see in more detail the affinities of the segment, the brands, the influencers, the music types, uh, that people in this segment feel most closely aligned. This can be ordered by degree of infinity, but also I'm going to show you by uniqueness. So this highlights the ones that are specifically unique to this segment by looking at the variation on the right. 
also we can filter it by person or by brand. So as we can see here, we've taken out the people and we're just looking at the brands they're interesting in. Scrolling it down even further, we can also see different TV genres and shows. So they're more likely to enjoy NFL football than the Premier League. And I notice up here that they're more likely to be interested in books and literature than the main audience. And here's some of the types of books and literature that they're interested in. The last section up here we're going to look at is what drives them. Again, through the unique use of our AI platform combined with IBM Watson, we are able to indicate the needs of this segment, signifying those aspects of a product likely to resonate most with people in that segment. And we've also got value indicate values that indicate the factors that drive these decisions. And uh, like with the one you saw earlier with the big five, we've also included links above them to help you get up to speed and get a bit more information on those um, factors if you so choose. Now, we're back to the main insights page and that concludes our quick tour of the audience insights platform. Now, it's worth remembering that even small tweaks and gains add up over time. And when dealing with large audiences and campaign spends, a few percentage points in the right direction could easily make a substantial difference to your performance. Such detailed social knowledge enables every function of any company to confidently become more consumer insights driven in everything it does. If you want to discover more about the audience platform or what we could do for you, please email moreinfo at audience.com.